Hello, in this video we'll talk about how to set up a Maya style navigation while retaining all the other Blender hotkeys, as well as uh, my custom setup for the startup scene and the preferences. So let's get started. You can change your preferences uh, as well as the hotkeys by going to the edit menu on the top left corner and choose preferences. There are many menus here, you can change for example the themes or the color of the interface and so on, but the most important ones are the input, navigation, keymap, system, save and load. Let's talk about keymap first. Let's start by saying that you can download this uh, custom keymap, the one that I use, uh, by simply clicking on the link in the description below, it's uh, completely free. And this uh, is a keymap that uh, utilizes the Maya navigation for a viewport, but all the other Blender hotkeys are completely intact. So I change for this keymap in the 3D view global. I change the uh, first of all, the navigation, the rotate, pan, and zoom view. Set them up to Alt, left mouse for the rotate view, Alt, middle mouse for the pan, and Alt, right mouse for the zoom. You can change the hotkeys, for example, zoom view, by simply clicking on the box here, okay, and then press the key that you want, for example, Alt, right mouse button or you can use the box uh, below here. If you click on the arrow, you will have more options. Then I change the view selected. The view selected is basically the frame view of Maya. Originally, the view selected is uh, mm, uh, set it up with the period key of the numpad. I change it to the F key and uh, for the period of the numpad to avoid the conflict if you search for face um, here under the mesh menu make edge face it was uh, previously assigned to the F key so I assign it to the period of the numpad then I change the loop selection tools here, the loop uh, selection hotkey, sorry, and there are two loop select uh, modes in, uh, in Blender. So for the first one, I change it to double left mouse uh, button. You simply can use the box here below. The first one you choose left and for the second one you choose double click. Then for the other loop select, I think that this is the default shift alt left mouse button. Mm, so I left it mm, like this. And uh, these two modes basically use the, let me add some subdivision, basically you utilize the double left mouse button to select a single edge loop, but it doesn't work with uh, multiple edge loop. Okay, so to select uh, multiple edge loops, use the Alt Shift left mouse button. Okay, it's uh, it's not complicated. Mm, just uh, you just need some practice. If you choose a custom hotkeys uh, setup, you won't you won't have the preferences for the mm, these preferences here. So I recommend changing uh, these preferences before loading up your custom keymap. For these preferences, mm, these are the one that I use. For a spacebar, I choose the Tools option instead of the Play for the timeline. That's uh, because uh, I'm not an animator, so I prefer to have the 
tool uh, while working. And then I think um, that's everything here. Yes, this is everything for this. I will change the spacebar. All the other ones are um, on default. Now for the other preferences, let's go to the input menu. For the input menu, you don't need uh, the emulate tribute or mouse. Okay, it's um, it's useless. Mm. All the other ones are the default. In the navigation menu, I choose orbit around selection. So if you select an object, you, you can basically orbit around it. So let me create a sphere. I select this. And as you can see, the camera is orbiting around the sphere. If I select, if I select the cube, is orbiting around the cube. Very handy. Then auto perspective, mm, it's on by default. Auto depth is very, is very, very important because uh, without auto depth, uh, basically when you are modeling uh, tiny details on the mesh that you are very, very close to it, uh, it the camera will stop at a certain distance and uh, it uh, won't allow you to zoom uh, further. But with auto depth uh, enabled, uh, this isn't a problem. Then we have the zoom method. I change it uh, to dolly. And zoom axis to horizontal. So basically, you drag the mouse left and right to, to zoom in and zoom out. Then we have the system menu. I enable the Q, uh, CUDA because uh, for GPU rendering, the undo steps to 200. I don't recommend going uh, higher than 200 for uh, memory leaks. And also, mm, yeah, I mean, 200 undo are uh, a lot, are already a lot. Save load, I enable the autosave with a five minutes uh, timer and uh, one save version and 10 re recent files. All the rest are default. And uh, that's it. Now let's talk about setting up your startup scene. Okay, let me open a new scene. This is my default startup scene. Mm, I deleted the cube, the light and the camera, and I also hidden the um, 3D cursor. To save, once you, mm, once you have customized your uh, startup scene, so in my case, I already deleted the uh, starter cube and the starter meshes, to save it, so the next time you will start Blender, you, you will have this scene here. You go to the File menu, File, uh, Default, Save Startup File. Okay, you click on this button here and everything uh, that you did on the viewport, even the selection here on the right, on the menu, on the sidebar here, if you have, for, for example, selected the render tab, it will start with the render tab selected, okay? One last thing is the quick favorites menu. That's a very handy menu that you can access using the Q key on the keyboard. And uh, that's uh, very useful if you don't remember certain hotkeys or you want to have uh, the most common operation uh, easily accessible. Uh, so for example, if I'm modeling, uh, I select the face and I say Q, select similar and uh, polygon sides, okay? So the quick favorites by default doesn't have any menus. You add menus to, the, mm, to this menu 
by simply going to the tool or menu that you want for example let's say that i want to add the toggle quad view you go to the view menu area toggle quad view and right click and in my case i have removed from quick favorites but in your case you will have add to quick favorites and you can uh, do this operation with anything that you want for example play animation or even here, even here on the right uh, the floor for example i can add uh, to a quick favorites and now i can uh, display grid floor on and off okay i did it for a, for a wireframe for example so let me remove it okay you can also remove uh, one menu by simply bring up the quick favorite menu right click on the menu that you want to remove and remove from quick favorite now be careful because this menu the quick favorite is different uh, from object mode and edit mode in object mode you will have the menus that you added while in this mode so if I am in object mode and I say uh, I add this the select all okay now I have it but if I go to edit mode and I say okay uh, let me bring up the select all you don't have it you won't have it okay because the quick favorites for the edit mode and object mode are different okay so with that said for my quick favorites i added the toggle quad view because uh, i don't remember the hotkey and the show hide um, for hide the selection and uh, also show you the object wireframe simply show the wireframe of the mesh adjust last operation it's uh, similar to the maya history where you can uh, redo one uh, well not redo but adjust the last operation that you did for example if i move it now let me let me extrude okay and then i say adjust last operation as you can see i can change the parameters of the extrusion after i did it okay and then for the edit mode i have select similar the wall menu select all by trade the, the wall menu very handy to select for example loose geometry uh, to to separate them or uh, if you have maybe interior faces uh, uh, by mistakes then select the loops menu mostly to select the boundary loop uh, around a face and the adjust last operation again okay so this is it hope you enjoyed this video leave a like uh, if it has been helpful to you and i'll see you in the next one Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.